Your name is. I should do. I don't know if we should be driving through here. We have to, dude. We're riding the gauntlet. In a hot day. Down the old delicious monster restaurant. I'm gonna start off with seafood soup. Take it from there, yeah, put a nice vibe yeah. Like 80% of the town is pissed. <laughs> gonna need a rech marker ever. Get the old uh, energy levels up. Could be a big night. No, I don't know how big it's gonna be with plate by beer. Down yeah. the down the old tash party at the old Amapondo. Backpackers. You're gonna bet you runs this place it's not but backpackers getting hammered. <laughs> yeah, as I was saying, most of the town's pissed. It's pay payday was on Friday. I mean, they're actually getting wanky. Like, I've never seen an entire town drunk before. But yeah, no, that's Boston John's. I think it's like a fun-loving criminal sort of place. And then as I was driving in this taxi and this other car was stopped on the one way, on the one single track bridge. Stubbornness and eventually they fucking talked the taxi driver into moving, but I mean, now the world out here. The world out here. About 15 years ago, uh, Hans knew the king because he'd been with the king. So he said, I can organize an interview easy. And we just, hey, we used to need baggies and like sand and everything. We would, uh, just, he, Hans had a Mercedes, old Mercedes. And we, just drove, we just drove straight to the king's place. Now you call or anything. He said, yeah, come here, Hans, Hans, you know. And we had baggies and slops and The king interviewed us. And, it was brilliant. Oh, good. And then he, I, uh, um, Stephen Taylor asked him to look up the coloreds, pe population. Where could those wo white women that were abducted and taken, where, where is their ancestors? Mm. That was his aspect of the whole story. Not, not the whole agony of the walk. I think only seven people actually got to Grahamstown at the end of the day. So, and I think one was a, what they call the Indian navies or whatever. They had a few of those. So se seven people out of like about 200 made it to Grahamstown. And the rest died. There's also diamonds and treasure involved and all types of stuff. They said they took the... Uh, and probably if it was the king or queen's throne reputed to be on that ship, which was studded with all rich emeralds and everything. It was reputed to be on that ship. So there's been a lot of uh, attempts to re recovery attempts. They've and they haven't they haven't recovered it. Uh, they so there was I think it was a Scandinavian team. Uh, yeah, it was I probably mean Denmark or whatever. But they came diving team and they recovered a whole the artifacts <coughs> down in East London in the museum down there. Yeah. Some some little bit of gold, but not the reputed. God, but there was some diamonds. One nobleman took all his diamonds back from the east. And he died, but he buried his, his diamonds on the beach. And some pondo light he found them. <laughs> and there's a whole story behind that as well, you know? And some, you know, he got all these stones, took them home. Suddenly, somebody's going to get rich, you know? Yeah. So, hey, it's just the whole story, the Grosvenor. It's one of the most famous shipwrecks in the world, you know. How long have you been living here in, in Porgies? And since 1985. Up. Yeah. Since 1985. It's nice, dude. Shit, brother. Well done. Well cut. Since You're just a visitor, huh? Yeah. Who? You. Yeah. Well, all uh, Thai I'm local. Actually, I'm actually, you could almost call me local. Okay. Yeah. Put it to you this way, I've been away 
I worked for seven months. I opened a BMW in Phnom Tata and I cut. I said, no the fuck, I'm gonna work for a boss again. No fucking ways. <laughs> so now I'm a freelancer. I work for myself. You got anything problem with your car? Speak to me, you know what I do? I move in town with the oil can. I say to this customer, how many times do you open that driver's side door in one day, in one week, in one month? And the guy opens the door and goes, Heah! I said, it needs lubrication. That's a nice trip, So I go and lubricate the door. He's so happy. But the best one you enjoy, this woman, <laughs> she says, <laughs> I, I lock my keys inside the car. This is that super spa. <laughs> and she's snookered now, snookered. So I take a wire, you know, next to the the the, the, the seat. Yeah. I put the wire down there. Boom! She says, I heard it! The boot open, the boot open. Got to car keys. Because no balls, no brains, you know what I mean? Not a bad setup there. Oh, it's really cool there. Fucking proper jungle. Get the place out of the way. This is a bumpy road. road. The music's coming from all the way down, yeah. Beer bottles and shit. What do you want to name it? I said, dude, I don't know if we should be driving through here. Yeah. We have to, dude. We're running the gaunt today. I'm at the bar. Having a fat party. It's so not really such an aggressive vibe. No, it's a tool though. Hey, hi, hi, hi. Hello. Uh, having a good time. Ride route. So I, I'm getting a feeling this ain't the right route. Uh -huh. There wouldn't be cars in the road. Sorry, guys. Not this time of day. <laughs> I don't know, move on my accord, mate. <laughs> Yeah. 
À la fin du temps, il y a le tempo. Et au fond du temps, c'est l'instinct de la basse. De la basse.